this airport. Now I'm being joined here by Cerberus. Cerberus, motherfuckers! Hey! How's it going, guys? Ah, not bad, not bad. Pretty yes. nervous, pretty nervous for the final, obviously. So. Uh, it's the final in Metal Tunnel Masters tonight. These boys are fucking, they've, they've worked their asses off to get here. They, they deserve to be here. Now, I just want to get a couple of minutes of their time. Now, what have you been working on recently? We'll put the foot yeah, in the foot. Yeah, well, recently, for the past wee while, obviously we've been working on our songs, we've been playing shows, that kind of stuff, uh, and we're currently working on finishing our first album. Uh, we've actually got a demo EP out at the moment on Spotify, so including four of our songs. Uh, but we've got what, an additional five, six, five, five, six songs, five yeah, or six yeah. songs um, that obviously we've, we've finished, we've polished up, it's just getting the recording time to get it done as well. What's your EP called? It's just self titled EP, so, several, yeah. yeah. As well. And um, so, see all the gigs you've been playing this year. How, how many gigs you've done this year? So far, it's just been the ones at Melbourne. So far, it's a good kick off of the year. Five or six gigs. So right. So you've been working your way through the final. Just that way, you've not had any other warm-up gigs. At the moment, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no it just makes it even more impressive. I've got to say. Because I'm pretty sure our last show before the start of the year was what October, November. November, it was yeah, nice, yeah. nice and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We, we took some time off, roughly about the Christmas time, uh, and then after that, back in January, uh, popped back in, started playing, writing more material, uh, preparing for like, gigs throughout the year, and then when it came to obviously Metal and Masses, that's when we jumped back in, started playing again. So, how long have you been around? 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. Yeah. That was our first gig. Yeah. First gig was August of 2016. Yeah. 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 Insane, different. Um, I can tell you for a fact, uh, back when we played back in 2016, it was that kind of feeling of we were like, just starting out, didn't have many songs written at the time, weren't uh, fully experienced in playing shows in front of people, uh, especially with our own material, that kind of stuff. Compare that to now, it's leaps and bounds different, like compared to how we were. Um, in that first gig, we were sort of scraping. Yeah. We, got, we got scared of half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Half an hour. Oh my god! Yeah. How much did you do to like to plan the set out at that point? And then now we can actually be proud and actually show people what we're actually made of. Maybe it's like half an hour. We can be like, okay, so what songs do we need? <laughs> half an hour. Do you fucking choose now. It's like picking your favourite child. It's difficult. Came up. Yeah. I think we came very far in two years. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I would imagine that the the butterflies and even greater tonight with it being such a occasion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. It oh, kind yeah. of takes you back to your to the first gig. The yeah. kind of similar feeling of being nervous, but for a totally different reason. Yeah. Like we know we can do well, but it's a it's kind of different. It's a different yeah. atmosphere. Like we're, yeah. we're, people kind of know us now, but it's still that kind of where we're going to be good. To be <laughs> yeah. yeah. And have you done any tours like, around Scotland? To any mini tours? Got down to England. No, no, yeah, no, no just been playing yeah. Glasgow mainly. Just, just yeah. Playing yeah, yeah, it's it's been that kind of thing over the past uh, few years between obviously uh, balancing personal lives, employment, all that kind of stuff, uh, and uh, playing our playing our shows. Um, it's just been very few and in between. Like one of the main uh, things that tends to happen, well, it's happened recently, is you'll be we'll start we'll play some shows towards the end of the year, and then. Others leaving at the start, and it's a sh huge break between us, like writing, dealing with our stuff. Uh, so getting things like tours and that down, it's something we've always uh, aspired to do, and it's something we do plan on doing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, maybe really soon. Yeah. All relationships out of the way, then you're done. Pretty much. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right now, see when you first started. What changes have there, there been? Has it always been this lineup? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, since it starts. Yeah, yeah, it's so quite, it's quite really, consistent. Yeah, so they're all pretty solid, pretty tight. And mm. Like we, we can, we know how each other work, and it, it works for us. Like, and you know going, what uh, one's gonna make mistakes when. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> <laughs> we've all had our fair share. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like, like there's not been yeah. one night where not one of us been. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Charlie, and like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 uh, that's what I mean. 
see from my personal experience of playing in a band, you, you get to know the fellas really well, and you know, you're like, right, can I do this? Can I, do this? <laughs> yeah. can I, can I get away with certain shit? You know, right? so I imagine that you're all like so tight like that, you can fuck about. Yeah, I played three different sets so far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I changed a song by 16 and we just sort of played it. Yeah. It seemed to go quite well. We gave you a weird look, but it was kind of, <laughs> oh, it kind yeah. of stuck at that so point. What are you doing? Ah, okay. I, I see. See, when it comes down to me, it was always the most players' fault. You know, uh, I've had that more, more than anything, you know. Blame the basis. <laughs> Not blame fingers, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, what's been highly beneficial for all of us is before we even became a band, we've all been friends for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, before we done this, it was just this. I remember we were starting out playing shows, someone relatively young. Uh, we were just playing music with a couple of other friends. You mentioned uh, the other band. The other oh, band. The other uh, band. Uh, <laughs> and it was us three, it was in it originally, and me and Charlie knew Blair from an old friend group we used to be around. And um, we all knew he played bass, so when the other two members from the like other thing, they wandered off, they did, they did their own business, and we're like, right, let's do something we want to do. So obviously we made this band, we had a mindset of what we wanted to do, and first, first place my mind went to, in terms of finding a bass player, was well, man here. And you felt this lot perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I just turned up, played bass, got the gig. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty pretty much. <laughs> I literally played, played on note and we were like, yeah, you're yeah. the band. It's no question about it. Now, what are your plans moving forward after tonight? I think it's just finishing off that album, finishing getting off better, album, yeah. touring when possible. Taking as much shows for the foreseeable future as we can. Uh, because what we've noticed compared to when we mentioned, obviously, the show back in 2016, as a group, as like musicians, just everything as a whole. Every show we play, we improve greater and greater. Like stage presence as well uh, improves each time we play. Like tightness as well, more and more. Um, so in terms of finishing what we have, getting it recorded, uh, getting the full album out at last, uh, and just playing more and more shows, it's just. From here, I just, uh, me personally, I, I think speak for the rest of the guys as well, we just see it going upwards. Now, what, what town is it you're from? The bon Bonnybridge? Yes, yeah, well, he's from Perth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. yeah. majority of us yeah. are from Stubbenshire. Uh, so, what, what's the scene like in Bonnybridge? Because that's just our big, big town. Is There's it? a couple of bands, like one, of the, uh, one of the bands that uh, they compete, I think it was the first round. Unjustice, yeah. Unjustice, yeah, they were, they were at the first round. They practice in the same spaces in Bonnybridge, and I know a couple of the guys from school, and they, they love kind of as well. Yeah. So that's like, they're one of the only other kind of bands in that area. Yeah. It was just to travel to Glasgow or yeah. Edinburgh to play. Because there's not many venues right from near us. No, yeah. so this is our closest main venue space. So well, Glasgow is really good. You know, four mm -hmm. venues here. And you like to get a gig pretty much every night of the week. You know, so you don't mind making that journey. Yeah, but yeah. how long does it take to travel to Glasgow? Oh, about 20 minutes. At least 20 minutes, half an hour. Been you know, the work calls half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's about an hour because I unfortunately don't drive, so I have to rely on no. the public is... transport. In the... I'm, not, I'm not happy, yeah. mate. You know, I don't drive and see the buses there, no, mate. Oh, even trains. Just... You've been in Perth, though, as we keep telling you, very self You need to move through this way, mate. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the plan. We'll take a to Perth, which I reckon will be in about a year and a half. The second yeah. Perth now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me 20 odd years to get. Get out of five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get, get yourself to come down to Glasgow. That's right, to go. I have never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why. Glasgow has been very, very good to us um, since we've started playing. Uh, every opportunity we've, we've gotten has always been in Glasgow. Especially here as well. Yeah, like, like, Ivory, Ivory Blacks has been very, very, very good to us, uh, giving us opportunities to play shows, play in front of people, uh, let people experience our music, which we, we, we want to do. What we've always been described as uh, from other, like when we started, it was when like metalcore and all that kind of stuff, that was the biggest thing going. Uh, and then you'd get us going on stage, we'd be playing old fat like thrash metal, we'd be doing just old fashioned stuff. It's all oh, you guys are, Dying genre, you this, that. I'm like, well, at the end of the day, like we, we, we're playing what we want to play. We want to show people what we do, and we want people to enjoy it just as much. And th this venue especially has been really good to us, giving us the opportunity to do that. So we're really, really grateful for it. Uh, so I mean, you see, uh, I've seen, like, especially in the last round, you're really, really impressed us. 
Um, I'm looking forward to your performance tonight. What, what I see with you, Brendan. Uh, so, how many songs have you got prepared for us for tonight? Well, back to the move. What? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, hang on. Uh, yeah. About five, yeah? Five. five. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tight. Yeah, I think it's a 25, 30 minutes. So 25, 25, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I uh, wish you the best of luck, man. All else I can say is fucking good luck. Thank, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't, thank you. Wait, can't wait to see you play tonight. And I'll speak to you after the gig. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure. I've been Asaban. This has been Cerberus. This has been the Doomsday Report. Keep it metal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>